Hi, I am Magdalena Baczewska and you're watching Back at Home. Welcome back. Today I would like to share with you the only work for a solo piano by H.T. Burley from the Southland. I will tell you a little bit about the composer, discuss very briefly the six character pieces that comprise from the Southland, and in the end perform the entire cycle for you. Harry Thacker Burley was born in Erie, Pennsylvania in 1866, and music was always a central part of his life. As a young boy, he was very passionate about singing, eventually becoming a renowned baritone. Harry sang in multiple church choirs throughout his young years. He attributes the love for music to his mother, as well as his maternal grandfather, both of whom were formerly enslaved, having bought their own way to freedom. The African-American spirituals that his mother and grandfather sang to Burley became an important part of his output. Burley became a famous arranger of these songs sang by the enslaved people, eventually making their way to a concert hall. Outside of the arrangements of spirituals, Burley also composed over 200 art songs for voice and piano. As a teenager, Burley always looked for opportunities to hear live music and attend recitals of great performers who came through town. However, for a young man of color, uh, attending events was not always something he could take for granted. Many of the events were presented to a segregated audience and Burley had no entry. Uh, we know that a former employer of Burley's mother agreed to uh, arrange employment for young Harry to become a doorman at these events so that he could witness this great music making in person. At age 26, Burley received a scholarship to attend the National Conservatory of Music in New York. There he met Antonin Dvozhak, who at the time was the conservatory's director. And it was H.T. Burley who sang the African-American spirituals for Dvozhak. As we know, Dvozhak was fascinated by the spirituals and deemed them central to the development of American music. H.T. Burley is best known today for his art songs for voice and piano, as well as the arrangements of the African-American spirituals, bringing the genre from the plantation into a concert hall. Today you will hear From the Southland for Piano Solo, a collection, a cycle, I should say, of six character pieces, each uh, equipped with an evocative title. Through moaning pines, the frolic, in the cold moonlight, a jubilee on bended knees, a new hiding place. Notice the spelling of the titles of each piece. The spelling is preserved from the way uh, English was spoken in the South. It is the same spelling that you will find in the lyrics of the African-American spirituals. As you will hear, the music is full of warmth and beauty, but it doesn't shy away from depicting the complexity of life in the South. I hope you will appreciate the tremendous contrast between the various pieces in the cycle, the syncopations and energy of the fast movements and almost a religious quality to the slow movements. They sound like church hymns and uh, one of them on a bended knees is actually a very rich and innovative harmonization of an African-American spiritual, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. 
This particular piece on bended knees was included in the 1912 Carnegie Hall concert of black music. For many of you, this may be the first time you are hearing from the Southland. I will play the entire cycle for you without interruption so you can enjoy and appreciate the tremendous warmth as well as the complexity of this music. Thank you. 
thank you for joining me for this discussion of From the Southland by H.T. Burley. As always, I invite you to subscribe to my channel where you will find many more videos on the Back at Home playlist. For now, take care and stay well. Thank you.